Do you love depression? Yes. Well, you'll love Your Lie in April. I just finished this show, like, a couple days ago. Even when I think about the fucking title, I'm sick to my fucking stomach, bro. The only other story that made me feel like this is Telltale The Walking Dead series, where boys become men and cry their hearts out. I will not spoil this show, you need to watch it, because if I talk too much about it, I might die inside, so let me talk about it. This show is basically Evangelion, but with a piano, I don't know if anybody else has made that comparison before, but Kosei is so similar to that motherfucker Shinji, his ass won't get in that big ass robot, guess what Kosei has? He's got a piano that he doesn't want to play. Anyways, the main character is Kosei. He was a child prodigy on the piano, but ever since his mom died, he hasn't been the same, and he can't hear the notes whenever he presses the keys. So he quit for two years, but he comes back because some girl named Kaiori asks him to play a duet with her. But he needs therapy. What the hell are the people around him doing? He was abused by his mom because if he didn't play the piano perfectly, she would literally just beat him. And she did this in public and nobody cared. Like, what the fuck is up with these people? That's anime logic, but it doesn't really matter. So clearly he has problems because of his mom. But for some reason, the show tried to redeem her. Like, get the fuck out of here with that shit. Anyways, he basically needs to forget about his trauma and play for another reason. So his reason is to play for Kaiori, and she's a violinist, so they just be hitting duets and shit, okay? That's honestly all I'm gonna say about this story, because this series is a fucking masterpiece. Even just reading the title makes me feel sick, like, why the fuck did the story gotta do me like that? When I heard what the lie in April was, I just started crying. Like... I haven't cried because of an anime in a minute, but this shit just broke me. I do want to talk about the music because this show is like a drama romance and it has music in it too because the character fucking plays the piano and one of them plays the violin. So obviously there's going to be music in this shit. I would probably cry if I heard the OST to be honest, but I'm not listening to that. I was listening to fucking Glimpse of Us by Joji the whole time I was writing this script. This series made me realize how fucking fire the violin is. Like, their duet is fire whenever she goes crazy on the violin. And I've always liked the piano because, you know, I like beats with piano in it and shit. I just like the piano in general. But this shit made me love it even more. So if you like classical music or depression, I guess, you should watch this. I need a detox and watch something wholesome. Sasaki and Miyano is on Crunchyroll now with the dub, so that's where I'm going. I'll see y'all next video. Wait here, wait here, wait here, wait here. Hold up, wait here, wait here. Stand up in the motor, bust the dash, bro. Oh shit, my mic's probably picking this up. Hold up, wait here, wait here.